In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to compress video files without losing the quality. Let's get into it. First thing we have to do is download the Handbrake software. Uh, so you type in Handbrake download into your search engine, click on the top link, or you can just go into the description and click the first link. Download the correct version for your PC. Mine's a Windows 10, but you can also download this on Mac OS and Linux. So I'm gonna download an execute file, but if you click the other link, it will download a .zip file. So once the file's downloaded, click on it, click yes, and you can exit out of the browser now. The setup's gonna open, you just wanna click next, and here you can choose where you want the software installed. I'm just gonna leave it in the default program files, and then click install when you're ready. It shouldn't take too long because it's only 100 megabytes. Leave this box checked if you want a desktop shortcut. I do not. Click finish, and go down to the search bar here, type in handbrake, and this will also help you find the file if you don't know where you installed. Open up Handbrake. It's going to open up this. So now we're going to select the file that we're going to download. You can drag and drop the video file into here or you can click the second option here to open a single video file or if you have a whole folder that you want to compress you can click on the top folder batch scan. But we're just going to do a single video file so click the second one. Select the video that you would like to compress and then click open. So you can choose the format of the file in which you're compressing it to. I'm going to leave it as a default MP4. Leave these two boxes selected. You can change the quality if you want, but I'm just going to leave it at what it was recorded at, which is 1080p 30fps. Uh, so we're going to go over to the video tab right here. And here you can select the encoder, but we're just going to leave it as times 264. Okay, so we're gonna set the frame rate to same as source. So we have the recorded frame rate and we want to set it to constant. So the frame rate stays the same throughout the whole video. Okay, so now we're gonna set the quality. We're gonna set the RF to 23. You can set it um, higher if you want, but 23 is optimal for keeping the same amount of quality while still compressing the file size. Just remember if you move the slider to the left, you lower the quality, but you also lower the file size. So you don't want to slide it too much. And if you slide the slider, the RF value to the right, the quality goes up, but the file size also goes up with it. Or you can set the bit rate if you know what the bit rate for your video is or what you want it to be. And lastly, let's go to the encoder options and set it to slow. After that, don't worry about any of the other tabs unless you need chapters or you want to um, change the audio quality, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to go back to summary. Okay, so now we need to give it an output file. So to do that, click on the browse, uh, select where you want the compressed video to download into, uh, give it a name, and now we are ready to compress the video. Okay, so we can go ahead and click the start encode button. And down here, it will tell us how long we got and it gives us a progress bar down here and it will also tell us the time remaining and the time elapsed. So the time this would take will depend on how large the original file is. This is quite a large file, that's why it's gonna take so long. So I'm just gonna pause the video right here and wait for this to finish. Now the video has done compressing, we're gonna check the file size. So this is the original video file. If we right click on it and go properties, you can see that the size of the file is 140 megabytes and the compressed video, which is the one on the left, we can right click that, go properties, and you can see that it is almost a third of the file size. So if you want a smaller compressed file, you can always change the RF value, but just remember that the quality will be lower. Now I'm just giving you a quality comparison of the two video files. As you can see, it's hard to spot the difference between the two. They're practically the same quality, but one of the file sizes is a third less. So that is it for this video. If it did help, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as well. If you have any troubles with this video, please leave a comment down below. And that is it from me. Peace out.